battery is running. Okay, okay. Right, Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Warakar Kadash, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And honors to you, brothers out there on the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. <clears throat> Shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there that's listening and learning and supporting the ministry. Um, if, if if one of the brothers on the comment board could let me know that the the sound is coming through good, I see the audio is the you know it's measuring. But the last time I tried to finish off the stream at camp, it, the 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 audio was frizzed. You know, um, I think because somebody tried to call me, but okay, loud and clear, beautiful. The water for that, uh, brother. Um, okay, so. I just wanted to do um, a live stream in response to this upcoming debate that um, <laughs> Vocab Malone's going to be having here. Um, it says, debate is the multinational church the fulfillment of national Israel. Um, you know, you see there, it's, gonna, it's tonight um, on debate talk for you. And it's against, um, I think it was uh, Elder Yara. I'm not I'm not familiar with with uh, with him or what camp he's from if he's one west or whatever the case may be. I assume he's one west cuz he's using the Lasha one Kadash. But I'm I'm going to be checking it out but um what I want to address is um see this is vocab still pushing that um supersessionalism man. You know, the replacement theology that um there's an entity known as the church which is made up of various seeds, you know, various different seeds of men that has now replaced the seed of Israel, which is the seed of Abraham, as the chosen of the Lord, you know, and all the promises, therefore, which were toward the seed of Israel, which is the seed of Abraham, is now given unto uh, a mixed bag of seeds, you know, um, a mixed bag of scenes going under the, the banner of the church. Now, I already did a video where I showed that, you know, technically the word church should not be in the Bible. Okay. The, the word church should not be in the Bible. Okay. It shouldn't be there. Right. In the Greek, the Greek writings, the Greek is Ecclesia. And in the Septuagint, which the Septuagint is a Greek rendering of the um the tanakh in the septuagint right they use ecclesia ecclesia for the two hebrew words eda and and i believe it's kahal which both those words are used in re in um regards to the congregation n mainly the congregation of israel um so you know what uh there's a video i did about that um the video is called um, Israel and the Church. It's on my channel. But what I can do is pull up a little bit from the article I was reading from. And um, real quick. So it says um, the word church does not appear in English translation of the Old Testament. Right. So that so it's, it's funny that you find the word church in the New Testament, but you don't find it in the Old Testament. Um, the Greek translation of the Old Testament called the Septuagint uses the word Ecclesia, which means to call, to be called out, which the call of the Lord are the Israelites for two Hebrew words, right? And it says Kahal here and um, Eda, right? And the two words are pretty much synonymous. And um, those words are used, they mean assembly, um, company, multitude, congregation. Right, and those are used in regards to the Israelites, okay, to the most part. All right, so there is no such thing as the church, there's only the congregation, and the congregation that the Lord is dealing with is the congregation of Israel, is all right, point blank period. So they try and use this word church, um, as a means like a bait and switch for their folly, for their replacement theology, but there's no such thing, okay. So let's jump back over here. Uh, Let's get rid of that. We don't need that no more. Right. So his thing is, is that they're trying to claim there's such a thing as a multinational church. So 
the 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 church is made up of um the congregation is now made up of all different nationalities so to speak so it's made up of edomites and moabites and canaanites who are of that nationality according to their seed all right which is blasphemy all right and and, and i'm going to use the same scripture he's using here to, to in the spirit to to dismantle his argument so um he says preview of tomorrow night's debate and he uses first peter's 2 9 and 10 which is a mistake but let's let's go it says applies descriptions of ancient israel directly to the new covenant people of god now who are the new covenant people of god <laughs> let's get that uh the new covenant people of god um Hebrews Right, Hebrews 8 and 6 It says, but now that he obtained a more excellent ministry By how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. For if the first covenant had been faultless. Now the first covenant is talking about the covenant which was made with the children of Israel. When you go into um, Exodus the 19th chapter up to the 24th verse. 24th chapter. So, so from chapter 19 in Exodus to Exodus 24th. That's that's the, the Lord making the covenant with the, the seed of Israel. And the seed of Israel only um, through Moses. Moses was the mediator of that. Okay, that's the first covenant with the law, right? And we know who the law was given to, okay? Um, so it says, for if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. And notice, there's nowhere ever where it's mentioned that the fault with the first covenant was that it was only made with the Israelites. Yeah, that's key. You see, if, if, if the Lord had an issue with only Israelites being under his covenant, he would have said that. Yeah, because the Most High ain't scared of no man. The Most High don't fear no man. And he's always made himself known. He would have sent a prophet and the prophet would have said, Yo, you know what? Yeah, I'm, uh, I've got a problem with this covenant that I made. Because this covenant I made with the you, the seed of Abraham, is only with you. And really, I want to make a covenant with all the different seeds of the earth. That, that, that was never the case. The Lord was always concerned with establishing his covenant. With Israel as he, he himself called it an everlasting covenant. So there you go. He said there should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them. Right. He didn't find fault with the covenant. He found fault with the Israelites. And what was the fault with the Israelites? The default was that we couldn't we couldn't keep the laws. And therefore we brought upon ourselves a curse. And that curse stood in the way of the promises. All right. That he made unto Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. For fighting fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. That represents the two, the two kingdoms of Israel. These are Israelites. This ain't nobody else. So the, the new covenant people are the Israelites. He says, Not according to, to the covenant that I made with their fathers. So in order for the new covenant people to be anyone else other than Israelites, what you're saying is that everybody's fathers the Moabites, the Ammonites, their fathers, the Lord made a covenant with them. No, that's erroneous. The only people that the Lord had made a covenant with aforetime were the Israelites. So that means the people that are coming under the new covenant, right, are the children of the people who were under the first covenant. Yeah, come on. It's, it's, it's simple reading comprehension that you learn in, in primary school. Okay. So it's not according to the covenant that I, I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continued not in my covenant and I regarded them not save the Lord for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days save the Lord I will put my laws the same law so for all you guys you got a problem with the law and guess what that same law that the Lord gave us minus the the laws of sacrifice is the same law that we're going to be keeping in the kingdom of heaven and it's the same law that we're going to rule the earth by that's why Paul said the law is holy. He said the law is good. 
the law is never going to be done away with, man. The law is going to be established in the earth, in the kingdom of heaven. So I don't know. I don't know. You know, so then, <laughs> hey, Jake, you say goodbye to them baby back ribs, man. And write them in <laughs> their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people, which is a fulfillment of the covenant that the Lord had made with our forefather Abraham. All right, the promise. You know, now let's jump back over. Right. So that cuts that whole new covenant people, the new covenant people of God. They, no, there ain't no new covenant people of God. There's only the people of God. And that's the Israelites, specifically the elect of Israel at that, the chosen ones. It says, ye, this is a quote in the scripture now, ye are a chosen generation, right? A generation is a genealogy, a seed, a royal priesthood, and an holy nation, a peculiar people, right? These were all things spoken of Israel, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness, right? Who, who went into darkness, the Israelites, into his marvelous light. Which in time past were not a people. Listen to it. In time past were not a people. But are now the people of God. Which had not obtained mercy. But now have obtained mercy. So you, you read that like. Oh, it said they were not a people. Or they hadn't. So that must be talking about um, heathens. No, 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 no. And we're going to prove. Even the scholars know that it's talking about Israel. But let's, let's read on. Then we're going to come back and just swing. Put it on 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 um mask of Zorro settings and just cut this whole thing down. And I said, recall this is the same epistle where the apostle says, Yet if any man suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on his behalf. And when it says suffer as a Christian, what it means is to suffer as a follower of the Messiah, okay? First Peter 4 16 combined with 2 and 9 alone tells you this nation is the nation of the Christians. <laughs> no, because because the, the, the ones who are, who scripture tells you in, in first, uh, um, sorry, in the book of John, that as many as believed on him, he gave them power to become the sons of God, right? They're simply the Israelites who are being certified through, through following the, um, um, the Lord, who are being adopted, Romans the ninth chapter, to them pertain if the adoption, they're being adopted, they're being brought back to the Father through Yahweh Shai, right? And yes, it is. And the nation is the Christians Who the Christians were Israelites That followed the Messiah You see A universal people where, where did you get that from Universal people They're adding that in And the scripture tell you about Adding on to the scriptures man A universal people Whereas nation Israel Was promised curses And destruction by the Messiah So now this guy is trying to say That the Lord promised Israel The nation of Israel destruction But he's going to save a bunch of heathens Blasphemy There is no way around it You need to abide in Yahweh Shai Or be cut off But that's true And we teach that If you're an Israelite And you don't seek after the Messiah You're going to be cut off But if you're an Israelite And you do seek after the Messiah You're going to be delivered And if you're a heathen You're going into slavery It ain't It ain't hard It ain't hard We're not saying that just because You see what they're trying to make it look like We're saying just because you're an Israelite Then the Messiah don't matter No if you're if you, the, the scriptures say what they say, man. What did the Lord say in Luke the thirteenth chapter? Unless ye repent, ye shall likewise perish. So as an Israelite, you gotta repent and turn to the Lord. But guess what? Only Israelites can repent and turn to the Lord, because the Lord only came for this lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew fifteen and twenty four. Okay, so the Christians are simply Israelites that follow the Messiah. It's the remnant of Israel that 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 hear the calling and follow it. Now, I want to jump back to up here because, you know, this, um, we got here um, where it says, which in time past were not a people. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump to um, 1 Peter 2, uh, mm -hmm. 9 and 10. Swing. Right. So uh, first Peter two nine it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should shew forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into the marvelous night. Now all the everything Peter's saying is referencing the nation of Israel, but we're gonna get straight to the point 
and cut this cut this this um rip, goodness gracious cut this um rip, oh no nah, did it did, okay rip cut this madness all right so it says which in time past were not a people but are now the people of god which had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy now is there is there is this a reference is this something that peter is just saying he just made it up off the top of his head or is peter ref referencing prophecy referencing scripture so we're going to go to the blue letter on the cross references and, and what that does is they cross cross reference um scripture so first peter's 2 and 10 they cross reference with romans um 1 sorry what am i talking about i saw romans hosea 1 9 and 10 right and they also cross reference it with hosea 2 and 23 So let's read Hosea 1 and 9. Then said God, call his name lower me, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Now this statement was made to the Israelites. He said, she said, then said God, call his name lower me, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Yeah, this is why it is written here which in time past were not a people it's talking about israelites because the lord basically turned his back on israel took took their hedge away from them and gave them up unto the nations scattered them among the nations yeah and they were swallowed up that's in the scriptures but guess what it says in the next verse guess what it says let's read it yet the number of the children of israel shall be as the sand of the sea many are called which cannot be measured nor numbered and it shall come to pass which means this is prophecy that in the place where it was said unto them unto them unto them unto them unto them yeah <laughs> where it was said unto them yeah unto the israelites not the heathen unto them <laughs> you gotta just stop forcing that english down your throat because it's like my man never never did reading comprehension before so yeah for this you know reinforce it in their skulls it was said where it was said unto them ye are not my people nah you're gentiles you're you're heathen yeah there it shall be said unto them unto them unto them ye are the sons of the living god now how is it going to be said unto them through yahweh shai because as it is written in the book of John, as many as believe on him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. Yeah. Romans 9 and 25. And he saith unto Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. That's talking about the Israelites that were scattered. Right. So even Paul referenced that. Hosea 2 and 25. So who's going to obtain mercy that didn't obtain mercy? And I will sow so her unto me in the earth who's the who's the subject of this verse in hosea the whole book of hosea is about the israelites and i will sow her unto me in the earth and i will have mercy upon her that had not obtained mercy and will say to them which were not my people thou art my people and they shall say thou art my god right who's it talking about who's the 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 uh uh uh, uh um the, who is it who's it jisrael <laughs> who's jisrael Who's J who's Jezreel, man? Let me show you. Let me see if you can get it up in the in the um it's so, it represents the nation of Israel, but it's just gonna come up with a name in the city. Biblical, okay. Right, there you go. Jisrael, yeah. It's not even getting to the point. But Jisrael is just another name for, for Israel. 
but it also was a C. It means God will sow. Yeah, they're not getting to the point. They're going deep into the into the name of the cities and all that stuff. I just want to get to the point. Yeah, I should have just used the Bible dictionary. But yeah, let me see what I see. There we, here we go. I thought they would have had a thing there. I like, I may, I'll do it in another video. I'll go check. Check. I ain't got time to really check up the Bible dictionary. But Jisrael is another way of of saying Israel. Okay, so there you go. And the whole of Hosea one and the whole of Hosea two is talking about. It's all talking about the nation of Israel. So if if Peter, get rid of that. If Peter is referencing that when he's talking to the people here in uh, uh, Second Peter two nine and ten, then that would mean that this new covenant people that you're talking about is the same people that Hosea was talking about, and the people that Hosea was talking about are Israelites. So this multinational church business that you're talking about just goes out the window unless you want to say Hosea didn't know what he was talking about or you or, or you think Peter overrides the word of the, the, of the prophet Hosea no the subject matter remains the same okay um boom now I wanted to also mention something else I wanted to because you're talking about Peter's yeah. right let's deal with for the book of first Peter uh now, it says there, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shia Mashiach, to the strangers scattered. Scattered, yeah, the dispersed. Who who, who was scattered? The Israelites. Throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Now, the word here for stranger means someone living in a land that don't belong to them. Because that's what they were, because they were really Israelites. So, they were living in, in, in foreign lands that didn't belong to them. Yeah, so lucky about that. Um, right, look up the word here. Uh, am I looking at the wrong verse? Okay. Right, it says one who comes, who comes from a foreign country into a city or land to reside there by the side of the natives. So these people weren't really natives to the places that they were scattered, because they were really Israelites, man. All right, because you go into the history of the during the time of the Greeks, many of our people fled among the the um the, the the heathen nations that were surrounding us and were living in those regions okay they were israelites man they were israelites that were scattered throughout pontus galatia cappadocia asia bithynia but here it's going to give it away elect according to the foreknowledge of god through the sanctification of the spirit unto uh, uh, sanctification the, the, the scripture said that the lord was going to sanctify israel Unto obedience and the sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which according to the abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach from the dead. Now notice it says begotten us again. Begotten us again. Now who was begotten in the first place? Oh, I 
machen wir da. Hm, hm, hm. Actually, it's not worded like that. It's worded like that in the apocrypha. Let me just try. Let's just do one. Got. And I'll get the one in the apocrypha if I got time. I hate seeing this in the, in the damn landscape. Oh, there we go. Right. So here we go. We have um, Exodus 4 and 22. It says, Thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Okay. Now, we could we can we can couple that with um, Exodus. Sorry, 2nd Exodus 6 chapter. Uh, let me get this up. Sorry, because I've got to get it up over here. <sighs> Um, oh, I did it. Here we go. Um, all right, uh, verse in chapter eleven. Where is it? Chapter five. Okay, chapter six. There we go. Should be here. Right. So, Second Exodus chapter six, verse uh, fifty-eight. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover are given into their hands so the israelites were begotten of the lord we're the firstborn of the lord now the scripture is saying that we are being begotten again <laughs> all right now the other nations the lord ain't dealing with them and they're not his children okay so and they never were so that straight away shows you that um first peters man the book of first peters was written to the israelites man it wasn't written to nobody else. It couldn't possibly be. Because why would it say he have begotten us again? The, the other nations were never begotten of the Lord. Alright. You know. It, it, it's very simple. But anyway, I'm going to check out. Um, where's the, yeah, I'm going to check out this debate if I can. Depending on what time it comes on. Hopefully, if if this. Uh, I don't know who this this character is. Elder, you know, Yara, but you know, Lord willing, he really know the scriptures, and he learnt the right way, and it should be easy work for him to, to um, to to cut this dude up, <laughs> you know, because this is madness what he's teaching, and and the very scriptures he's using work against him. Uh, let me see what brothers are, are shelling off in the comment board. Let's see this. I can't even see the thing properly. Man. Come on. Pin it. Okay. Alright, okay then. That's how you do it. Let's pin this. Yeah, Amos 3 and 2. Ye, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will I punish you for all your iniquities. Yeah. Yeah, the brother put the precept there for me. Okay, beautiful. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much um, what I wanted to to go in on anyway. Um, this guy's having another debate. He's still pushing this 
replacement theology BS. And um, it's, it's, it's definitely a wishful, wishful thinking on, on his part. Yeah, Isaiah 41 and 8 goes with, with um, what Peter was saying in, in 2 Peter 2 and, 2 and 9. So yeah, this, this guy here, um, Volcab Malone, man, he's fighting a losing battle. You know, his anti-Semitic <laughs> uh, 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 replacement theology, man, is, is total BS, man. The, the um, congregation in, of the New Testament is the same congregation from the Old Testament, just the ones who follow the Messiah. It's the same people. It's not a different people or a multinational or anything. In fact, if you want, the only way you can deem it to be multinational is the fact that these Israelites are coming out from among all these different nations, you know, from among these nations, um, out of every kindred and tongue, because Israel is scattered among them. Um, case on point, Isaiah, the 11th chapter, Israel is going to be coming out from all these different. So if you want to say it in that way, it's multinational, meaning they've come from these different nations, these different from among them, then yeah. But if you're saying that actually members of these nations, actually, according to the seed are, are of the lineage of these nations, then you you're going off, man. That's that's not that's not true. That's not biblical, man. It's all Israel, baby. It's all Israel, all the seed that the Lord have said. The brother got Isaiah fifty nine and twenty one. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed, saith the Lord from henceforth and forever. Yeah. That's Israel, baby. All right. So, hey, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be checking out the debate if I can. If I can't catch it live, then I catch it and, and then I'll see if, if um, add more salt to them wounds, Lord willing, you know, if the spirit's on me. So, uh, Lord willing, this has been edifying. Uh, Shalom.